Hey there! In this video, I'm going to show you how I model cartoon hair using Blender. First off, we start with the curve object. I use a NURBS path as I find it easier to control. Then, I go to edit mode and position the path so that the hair's root is near the object's origin. Next, I go back to object mode and add another curve object, this time a Bezier circle. This will control the hair strands bevel. You could also make another curve object to control the taper of your hair strand, but I don't usually do that as I want my hair strands to have different thicknesses. So instead, I adjust the thickness of the hair strands at the control points using shrink fatten. Now, it's just a matter of positioning the points in edit mode to make your hair, then positioning the tuft or a group of hair strands in object mode. Although you can have your entire hair in one object, having multiple objects makes it easier to reuse the tufts for later. Even if you can go on without this next step, I think it's useful to have a guide object to snap your hair strands to. Just make sure its viewport display is set to wireframe so it doesn't block your character's head. So here, I'm just shaping this sphere to the general shape of the hair I want it to be. If you've seen Vroid, this is similar to hair layers there. And the rest is just basically placing the hair strands on the shape using snapping. Make sure your snapping is set to face, project individual elements is checked, and project onto self is unchecked. Also, when snapping the control points to the shape, make sure you don't have the root selected. In theory, you could also draw hair strands using grease pencil, but I prefer having manual control of where the control points are so they align with each other. Then, when I'm done with the tuft of hair, I duplicate it, then flip it as a basis for the other side. This process just repeats until I've covered the character's head in hair. 